Alright guys, today we're going to continue on with the uh, stick blender build. In this video we're going to make the curves for the top section of our blender. Um, we're going to be using a curve network tool and to start off with we're going to build the curves of this side of the stick blender. Um, we're going to overbuild this surface into our existing surface um, and then when it comes time to matching them all up we'll use the blend surface tool to do that. So I'm going to start off in my front view here. I'm going to set my view to wireframe. Um, I'm going to start a new layer in my curves called curve network. Um, you can build this curve however you like. I like to just build it in sections and add fillets in. So I'm going to do it that way. I'll start down here. As I said, I want to overbuild. Um, okay. I might um, just change that layer so you can see it a bit better. Might make it blue or something. Yeah, it's, it's a bit better. Um, so again, just want to adjust these curves as we go. So I'm going to hit F10 to turn on my edit points and just move that across. I'm going to make sure I use as few edit points as possible um, in this case. Uh, one, two, three, I've gone off my layer. Okay. Got my next curve. I'll move that in a little. make sure that CV is positive, there's nothing negative through there. Okay, back to my CV curve. Those look okay. Now this last curve is where it gets uh, a little bit interesting. So what we're going to go ahead and do is set up this last curve. I'm going to turn off my object snaps here and just turn on my grid snapping. And what I want to do is get this right in the center. That's good. Okay, and I can turn off my grid snapping. And I'm going to go ahead and adjust this curve. Let's pull that out a little more. Pull that down. Okay, that should be okay. Um, now at this point, we want to make sure this curve's okay, um, and then we can go ahead and trim out the rest of our curves. Uh, you also just want to check that you've done everything correctly here, that it's all flat. Um, so the trim works. A few of you have had problems with that, but you can see when I select all my curves, I haven't snapped to anything incorrectly. Okay. So with all the curves selected, I'm going to type in trim. And I'll just get rid of these ends and tails. So we start to see our profile emerge. Once we're happy with that, we just need to add some fillets in. So I'm going to use a blend curve, curve, blend curve, adjustable blend curve. And I'll just start that here and here. Uh, make sure you have trim selected here and curvature selected. Um, and that should trim it all up for you. And let's do the same throughout. Um, remembering we can adjust these curves just by pulling on these CVs. Okay. Might do a bigger fillet through here. Oops. Pull that up a bit. Not 
quite snapping sometimes to the right spot. It's a good thing about these blend curves is that you can get them to look just as you want. Okay. Um, once you're happy, uh, you can go ahead and join all these curves up. join. Make sure we've got one open curve. Okay. Now when we symmetry align this across the center line to get our other side, uh, we need to make sure that we don't get any puckering along the center line. So to do that we're going to use the symmetry tool. So I'm going to hit symmetry, making sure I've got my record history turned on. Uh, continuity we want smooth. Make sure that's selected. And then we just use this like the mirror. So I'm going to put my object snap on. I'm going to grab this end point as my first point. And I'm just going to draw a straight line up. Okay. Um, so you can see it looks like it's just mirrored. However, with the symmetry tool and history on, you can see that if we go ahead and turn on our edit points, uh, if I adjust one of these across the... Um, that's a, that's, that's a bad one to use. Say so this one. It's going to adjust the whole model. Um, and you'll also notice that it doesn't let me take this CV out of alignment with the one over here. So if I try to pull it up, it's not going to let me. So I've constantly got a smooth curve around the top. Um, that's it. We don't want to join these, so they can just stay like that. Uh, we're going to move on now. I'm going to turn off my front elevation, turn on my side elevation. Okay, I'm going to do the same sort of thing here. Um, this time we're going to do a curve all the way around. Um, before we do that, we just want to set up a reference line for the bottom. So to do that, I'm just going to draw a straight line from this end point into, the, into my center line. So I'll do that in perspective. Unless I'll get it right. Okay, so I want it from here into there. Okay. And now I've got a center point. Maybe I'll turn off this um, side view. Okay, that doesn't seem to have worked. Okay, so we've got a center point now. Now all we want to do down here is start with a circle. I think I put this line in correctly. Um, maybe we'll just do it right across. That'll make sure it's straight. Okay. And at that intersection, so int, oh, draw a circle. Um, now that circle is touching these two points and will give us a reference point. In our side view, you can see here, where we should start those curves. And these curves need to be touching uh, that curve there. You can see it's well into the body of the stick blender, so it doesn't really matter what's going on down here. We're going to trim that off later. So I'm going to start at the quad. Um, let's just do this relatively the same way. Just putting my um, simple three-point curves in. Um, again, I'll, I'll, I'll place those on the curve layer network. Just these points. Okay. Now we'll continue around. I might start this end. You can see here I'm quickly pulling the curve in to create to get to a point where it looks kind of right. This curve I might do four points for. Okay. And the reason I'm doing as few points as possible is to make sure um, that the curves run nice and smoothly. 
this point here is a bit flat. Let's just bring that up. Okay. Uh, that should be okay. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and do this section through here. Flatten off the back. We can add the cable in later. Um, and now this last curve is pretty important. Um, this curve needs to intersect this line here. So to do that, I'm just going to grab a single point from here in the toolbar and pop one just here at the end. Okay, you can see I've put just just a point there. That's just a reference. That point, now we can now see in our right hand view. And because we need a curve through a point, um, we're not going to use our control point curve. We're going to use the interpolate points curve. And that just means wherever you click your mouse, the curve will go um, with a control point curve that we've been using. Wherever you click your mouse, a control point goes. So you can see it's not wherever I click is where the points go when I hit F10. So I clicked here, here, and here, and my curve looks like that. But in this case, uh, the control points for this will look different to where I clicked. There you go, so the control points, there's five of them. So to do this curve, um, we just want to try to get it right the first time. And if you don't get it right, try it again. Uh, interpolate points. I'm going to start here, two, three in that point, four, and five. Okay, so now we don't want to touch this curve again because as soon as we start moving CVs, it's no longer going to intersect up here. So what we're going to do is leave that there. Once we're happy, if not, change it. And uh, we're going to add our blend curves in. Uh, once we trim this up. So to trim this up again, uh, we just want to select all of these curves. Make sure they haven't accidentally snapped to anything else and they're in the correct plane. I can check that in my top view. You can see everything's very linear that's highlighted in yellow. Okay, I hit trim and just go through the same process of trimming. Um, once I'm happy with that, I'm going to go through the same process of curve, blend curve, adjustable blend curve. Okay. Now you can spend more time if you like getting this just right. Okay. And don't be surprised if you don't get this right the first time and you have to go back and redo these curves. Um, some of it's trial and error with these complex surfaces. Okay. Last thing we need to do is split this curve up the top here. Uh, so we need to grab this curve here. We're going to hit split. This is what we want to split, this curve that goes through the top. And we want to cut it with that point. It should work. There you go. I got two pieces. Okay. Now we can join all these curves up. So we have two halves. So one, two, three, four, five. We'll hit join. And we'll do the same over here. And we can hit join. Okay. Uh, so let's have a look at what we've created here. Um, let's go into our perspective viewport. And just to make sure everyone's on the same page here. Um, we're going to turn off our elevations. I'm going to turn off any of these extra curves which are from the Volve. Let's just change the object layer so it's hidden. Okay. Um, and then our center line uh, that we used for our Revolve as well. Turn this off. That's got our measurements on it. 
I'll just change it onto that layer. Okay. So what we should have uh, when we're ready to use a curve network is something that looks like this. It's made up of one, two, three, four, five curves. Um, these four curves being open curves, that means they're just open in space, and then we need at least one closed curve to create the surface. Um, I'm going to leave this at that, um, and we'll come back in the next video and create uh, the surface and blend it with the body of the stick blender. Alright, thanks guys.